roll it. Woke up to uh, eat the best that I could be in the gym and uh, to train myself and to do it for myself. We're going to start off with some shoulder raises. Usually four sets of 20. Go ahead. He's holding it at the top for about two seconds. This is perfect form. Now I'm going to have this bend his arms a little bit. Go ahead. It gets a little harder with your arms bent. Don't forget that pause at the top. The next couple sets we're going to come in front and a little bit out. These ones were here, then we're going to come here, then we're going to come here, then we're going to come here. Mr. Will owns a heart rate monitor, makes it way more fun to train him. Now I'm not looking in his eyes, right? I'm not staring in his eyes going, are you trying? Are you trying? And he'll tell me yes, I'll see sweat on his shirt. But I could be overtraining him or undertraining him. This tells me it's time to go again. <laughs> Again, his heart rate was 99. Right now it's 130. It was 137. It's dropping back down to 121. See, when I train, I like to start going again around 100 if I can. That's my heart rate monitor. Will's a little bit different. We're, I don't even know what his numbers are yet. We're going to find out. But either way around, when that number, when it says 110 to 100, you got to get going again. That's totally rested. Let's see how high we can get his number. seconds. Once again, this is a warm-up. I don't want to bleed him out. So he's had his 10 seconds. Now we go again. Finish off the set of 20. 13. 14. Jump. 15. 16. Now he's just going to swing him up and down. He doesn't have to hold him. 17. Jump. 18. Jump. 19. One more. 20. Six. <laughs> it said it found his limit, but I don't think it did. It was 147. Can you get some water? Yeah. He's going to go ahead and take some water. He gets about, once again, about 30 to 45 seconds on average. Now, I just met Will, okay? We've trained one other time. Today he's walking by and said, let's do some training. So, it's kind of fun when, when they already have some of the education down. They understand some of the accountability in the heart rate monitor. Makes it, uh, like I said before, a lot more fun to train. 
which Harvey now went through. In about 30 seconds, his heart rate's dropped down to 120. We're going to let it go to 110. <laughs> it is bouncing. Oh, we're good. Notice what he did with his wrists. Three, four, five, six, front deltoid, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, jump out, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, come on, fifteen, sixteen, yeah. 18, 19, before you drop him, 20, look at his hand placement. I want you to see where his hand is on the dumbbell. If you can see that, when your hands get too tired, you can rest it there. I prefer resting it at the bottom or in the middle. That means your hand has to grip the weight as hard as it can. That's perfect. It strengthens everything all the way up through the shoulder, okay? When you're gripping something very, very tight, everything else is locked in. It's much harder to hurt yourself and it makes it harder focusing. So, what did we learn? He did it right, I didn't even have to ask him to, I just noticed that he was doing it right. This would take away from his grip because it's resting. This makes it even harder. And this is perfect. Now, as I'm, as I'm training, I, all I have to do is look at his heart rate. I see it's still 133, so we got to give him a second. Now, the training's going to start, and it probably won't drop below 133 for a while. So we're going we're gonna to bust his large muscle group chest, bring in his triceps and abs. So, right now, I want to burn a lot of calories. Right now, we're looking for that average of 150. That says that he's really, really trying. Swimming all over the place. Set. Go. 
Hurry. Heart rate 157, awesome set. If your heart rate says 160 after doing anything, you try it. So it's been about 25 seconds. His heart rate's dropped down to 134. So almost 30 beats. 30, drop right back down. What's fun about this is I'm watching his watch and it almost matches the one minute break. Some people are gonna need a minute and 30. But Mr. Will here, it looks like he gets to go about a minute. So you can go by your heart rate monitor, or you can go by about a minute to a minute and a half, depending on your, your zones. When you're in a little bit better shape, then you're gonna go with less time. Now, one of the proper ways to do it is to lift up your knee to your shoulder, pop them up. Pop your knee up. These will be much harder for him in the first set. Good job. All right, right here. That's what you're doing. Six. I don't want you to press, I want you to squeeze. It is 163. Good job, Will. Wait, wait, wait. We're five minutes into our workout. What do we have? It's called a sweat spot. Okay, there's your other sense of accountability. That's what we want. We're in our third set. We did four warm ups. Three sets of bench press, we already got a wet bench. Wait, wait, focus on the face. That's not fake. A glass of water there. Now focus on his face here, see that? That's sweat. Good job, buddy. Hurry. 139. 139, all right, we're gonna give him about another 25 seconds. If it ends up at 130, then that's where we start. Anything if you want to. Ooh! Heart rate says 114. Time to go again. Chest. Five, you're inspiring me. Six. Come on. Seven. Eight. A little bit deeper. Nine. Yeah. One more. I got you. I got you. Up. Ten. Let it go. Heart rate. <laughs> Heart rate 167. Show the show the show the camera. Simply put, we've done four warm ups, we've done four sets of incline press, now we're moving down to four sets of flat bench. Okay, he's had about a minute rest, and his heart rate's still 133, but we're gonna go again. Anything out of the 150s, means you're trying hard. Good job. 
What kind of uh, nutrition did you have this morning before you got here? Uh, a chicken. You had some chicken, all right. And rice. And some rice. How much rice? Uh, a bowl. Small bowl. Small bowl, all right. What did you have before you came in here? Sugar. Okay. And some what? That's pretty much it. Had some sugar. Do you have any protein? Yeah. All right. What kind of protein? Chicken. Okay. So he had he had some chicken and sugar. Right now his heart rate's so high that he has to have this sugar to burn up. So glad you did that. By taking too high without the proper nutrition, then he's basically going to burn up his muscle instead of fat. We don't want that. It's kind of like uh, have you ever have you ever seen a an out of shape cycling instructor? They're up there teaching you how to, how to lose fat, yet they can't lose it themselves and they teach it all day long. It's because they don't put sugar while they train. Let's go. Yeah. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. I got you. Seven. A little bit deeper. Eight. Beautiful. A little bit deeper. Nine. One more. Up, 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 up. Ten. Awesome. Hurry. Now, you want to see something funny? Check this out. That's all dark. That's all dark. And he's got one strap that's dry. His entire shirt in six sets and four warm up sets is almost wet. Only thing that's not is his heart rate monitor. It's awesome. All right. All right, now we've done six sets with the weight of 35 pounds. Right now I want him to go a little bit deeper. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop his weight by 10 pounds total, five in each arm. Allow him to go a little bit deeper and focus on the push. I don't want him just trying to press weights over his head. I want him to use his chest to squeeze the weights over his head. To, uh, for lack of a better word, squeeze. There's no other word. When you push it up here, just think about that chest doing the work instead of the arms and everything else. But you're gonna do the work anyway, all right? 126, we're going again. down to about that far away. Beautiful. One. Two. Three. Nice. Four. Will, how much you weigh? 140. Five. Will weighs 140 pounds. Six. Seven. Will, how much you want to weigh? Eight. Push. Nine. Fifteen. Yeah. Ten. All right. 51. Will wants to weigh 150 pounds. I think we can do that. All right, hop up. Now, bring your chest across. What do want to do? We want to work right here. Okay? I want to put a great big bad boy groove right here. I want to be able to hold a pencil straight out of this chest. So one of the things I like to do is once the chest is full, I like to grab my arm, put it under me, and then push my chest over and up. So what you're doing is just bring, bring that bicep into here. Feel that? And just push it all the way over here until it hurts. You're pushing that muscle all the way over, making it, making it create that groove. I want it painful, you know that? You want to push that stuff all the way up in there, it creates a new home for itself. What is that? Yep, with that bicep, and push that chest all the way up. Yes! See that, he's created a great big mound here. He's taken his entire chest and put it into one half of his chest. What it's doing is, is it's A, stretching it, B, creating that, pushing, pushing muscle where it's not, basically. Hopefully creating a new home for it. What's your heart rate? 144, let's go again. Oh. Yes. Hurry. Right. 
elbow straight up. Beautiful. Okay, now on that one, he flared his arms a little bit. He got into his flies. This is more of a press. So you want to go up, straight back down. Our bodies and what we're used to in our training is this. That's a fly. I want this. Very similar, but also very different. All right. He's been resting about 15 seconds. His heart rate's 146. Better watch out for those DJs. All right, Will. You get about another 10 seconds. We're halfway through our workout. Let's ask his opinion. How does he feel? What's going on in his mind right now? I kind of just hit him up at the last second. Hey, buddy, I'd love to train you. Can I film it? He said, sure. So this is our first attempt. What do you think, Will? How's your chest going? Feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good? Yeah. Uh, what was your favorite exercise so far? Um, one of the shoulder lifts. The chest press? Chest press. All right. I like it. OK, show me. What's your heart rate? Okay, our heart rate's about 127. We've been resting about a minute. We're gonna go again. Yep, that means you gotta go. We're not filming a workout. We're doing a workout and it's getting filmed. Come on. Drip off his face, look. Ten. Awesome. All right. All right, chilling at 159. That is absolutely fantastic. Good job. That's That's he just called me out because I was in here posing last night without my shirt on. <laughs> I'm glad I'm able to train with Mr. Will today. Kind of brings me. Brings me back to the ground level. You forget what people know and what they don't. And he's got heart. It's got uh, ignorance on fire is what I call it. You meet a guy like this who really, really wants something. It's willing to put in the effort, the heart rate, obviously. All you do is show him a couple tweaks and techniques and some accountability in his diet. This guy will reach his goals. Doesn't matter where you start. Heavy, skinny, doesn't matter. It matters if you can translate that heart, that heart rate monitor into diet and accountability. Go. Give him a little bit longer rest on that one. Sitting at 117 about to get started. Elbows point straight at the ceiling. Yep. Feels awesome. Feels awesome. Two. Three. Now lean back. Four. This one is going to go to failure. Eight. I think he can do more than ten. Right. Ten. Right here. Eleven. Twelve. How bad do you want a chest? Thirteen. Fourteen. Look at that look in his eyes. He wants it. Fifteen. Come on. Make it sweat. Sixteen. Get those elbows up toward the ceiling. Eighteen. Nineteen. Is that twenty? Nineteen. Nineteen. One. All right. I was going to stop him two reps ago because his arm got off. <laughs> Film that. Man. Get that. Get that. That's 177, my friends. 176. Okay. Now, we don't always train that high. Let's get into some hit training there. But that's impressive. I say, give me everything you got. When your heart rate says 170, I mean, that's almost like a bear was chasing him. You don't, you don't work out a lot harder than that even for your life. Great job. So, we've done incline, we've done flat bench, now we've done decline, uh, press fly. Now we're going to go with the traditional fly on a bench. Heart rate's 134. 
before. We just took about a one minute rest between decline and presses. Now we're getting into flat bench flies. We're gonna do two sets of this, jumping back up and do two sets of incline flies. Still the same bench. Back. Pop them straight up in front of you. Supinate them. Bend your elbows. Yep. Now you're hugging a barrel. He's hugging a barrel. Okay, so you're going to run this way? No. Imagine a barrel. Show me a barrel. Those are straight arms. Show me a barrel. Now supinate them. Stay the way. Yep. Now bend your elbows. Bend your back leg. Now turn your wrists. So the weights are pointing each other. There you go. So you go down, bend the elbows. Now come back up without bending the elbows. Arms up, stand there. Do it again. Okay, those arms straight. You're not doing what I tell you. They gotta be like this. Yep, now go. See my elbows? They're not gonna bend. One pivot. Yeah! One. Yes. Two, perfect. Three, we'll straighten those arms. Four, now try to take the weights out a little bit wider. Yes. Five, we'll jump in. Six, those are not perfect. Seven, try to keep that bend all the way up. Eight, money. Nine, one more. Ten, great job. Will and I have never done flies before, so I'm kind of glad we got to see that. That was our first attempt, no communication before or after the set on video, nothing. He really didn't know what that fly was supposed to be. So, uh, when I described it to him, I don't know if he caught it, was hugging a barrel. It's the easiest way to know. A lot of times, we're used to pressing, we want our elbows to flop down, okay? They gotta stay up like this, but look what happens to my wrist. The only difference is, is doing that, okay? See, my elbows didn't move. I just supinated my wrists. So, boom, okay? It's not boom, it's hugging a barrel. And your elbow doesn't move at the bottom. None of this stuff. It's like this, okay? And then when you get real bad, you press it together. And you really, really, I mean, I'm not holding that there except for pure will. Yeah, that's his name. All right. 108, time to go again. Okay, now these ones. Your arm is here, and you want it to stay up here. So on 45. Put your elbow, touch the other. See that elbow? It stays right there. It stays right here. See how your elbow moves back in? Put your elbow back in. Like this. Jump. Don't break up. One. Two, perfect. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Money. Sets of flies, we're gonna raise them up to incline now. Come on up. Gotta love it. Leave your mark on your bench at your gym. That's Will's bench. Looking like a dog, he came in here and peed all over it. I don't even mind using that term at all. You come in there and you own your gym. That's your gym. That's your transformation. That's your motivation. And that is your accountability. That makes that your bench. When I come in here, that's my bench. But just like a dog, I'm gonna wipe his sweat off and pee on it myself. Same thing. Make sure you're getting a wide shot on this. Hmm? Make sure you're getting a wide enough shot on this.
All right. His job in no way has him. He's not. He's not a construction worker. He's not a laborer. He's not used to this. Okay. He's coming in here and he's transforming. This guy's a DJ. All right. That's a totally different world than even the one I'm used to. I got into lifting weights by. You know, I used to swing a hammer. I used to carry wood up ten floors. I used to have to stand on stilts and hang sheetrock above my head. I was kind of used to that physical labor stuff. So coming in here to the gym was second nature. What impresses me twice as much than the guys like me coming in here and just knowing you got to gur 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 are the, the businessmen. Okay, your suits or your artists that walk in here, and they're able to find that work ethic, that physical work ethic, in order to build their body or to burn their fat. Me, I, I have a harder time being a DJ, a much harder time being an artist. So I do respect that transformation, that switch that I like to talk about, that, that, that these guys are able to flip on when they come in here and train. Way to be, Will. Heart rate is? Oh. Starting off, heart rate 108. I'm gonna say. Let's go. One. Watch this. many as I can do on the last set or just tax it a little bit more. Now if he was working by himself, he would have dropped, he would have done a set of 10 and hurry up and grab maybe a little bit heavier weight or just done 20 more reps. Either way around, somehow shock your system. The last two, I just added about eight, eight pounds in each arm, easy, and was able to make him fight for it going not only up, but in. So however you tax yourself, do it. There's just a quick example. Good job, buddy. Right now we finish up chest, we're going to move right into triceps and abs. I'm going to superset those two, both smaller groups, and trying to fit the workout into about an hour and ten minutes, that's what we have to do. So, Will says he wants some abs. We know that abs come from diet, but they also come from bumps. There's no good to diet if you don't have the bumps underneath. So, and vice versa. There's no good to diet, you could be a runner all day and not have a six pack. surf the rack, getting right into triceps. We're going to start with the lesser weight that he's able to do. So he's going to do 10, I'm going to add more weight, 10, add more weight, 10, add more weight. Watch him, watch him max out, and then take him right back down. He should do about six sets here in one set. Love it. Let's go. His elbows are not moving. Six. That is fantastic. Seven. change his hand position. See how his hands are resting on the balls? I want his hands to work harder than that. Choke up on the back. Nope. Right here. Let's go. Last set. 
This is a concentration shed. I want him flexing at the bottom of every one. See that finger? That's not the size that finger will be if he keeps doing this the right way. Give me that finger. Show me that finger. Come on. Yes, come on, fight it. Fight it. Heart rate. Heart rate 169 on some press downs. And guess what? We're halfway through this set. Because this was a super set. Now he's gonna do hanging leg ups. Let's go. with this Mr. Will. That heart rate was 177. That was, I mean, I'm gonna watch this on film, but I'm pretty sure that was about a two and a half minute set. His heart rate averaging 155, 160. Reference earlier in this in this uh, video, I was telling you that he had to have sugar. I knew what I was about to do to him. And watching his heart rate, I knew it was gonna be too high. I asked him about his sugar. If he didn't have that sugar, I'd have to slow him down. Okay, I would not allow him to push like this because he'd be basically using his muscle to build muscle. That's why half the guys in the gym, you see them never change because they don't know their diet. They don't get it. DavidKinley.com, right now you're learning how to train. Go to the other chapter, you see about nutrition. That two, that two equals three, right? In your world, two equals three. Understand that and it's well worth doing the two. It's usually not the case in your life. Heart rate's still 154, we're gonna let him rest. He's got another big one coming. Right now I got a guy I'm training online. He sends me his numbers every night. His workout is showing me about 400 calories. Average heart rate around 130. He's peaking at 150. I'm sorry, but that's unacceptable. If a bear was chasing you, if your daughter was underneath a car, if, if somebody told you to give you 10 grand right now to run up that hill, your heart rate would be higher than that. Is your goal any less important? Where's your inspiration? You write me, you pay me, and you're not gonna do what I say? It is unacceptable for your heart rate not to reach the level you want it to. Unacceptable. It means you're not trying. You're going through the motion, you're trying to make your wife happy, you're trying to get away from the kids, but you are not trying to reach your goal. I'm sorry to word it like that, but you gotta call yourself out. That heart rate monitor only works if you look down and go, unacceptable, and work harder. If you look down and go, oh, well, that's my number, stop paying me everyone. We're gonna go ahead and surf this weight again. Let's do it. I'll just go where they go until they can't go there anymore. Grip that thing strong. Always grip it strong. Right now, this is your isolation. You really want to make those. Yeah. One forty-five. Let's go. I just raised him ten pounds. This rope should be straight up and down. I'm gonna have him take a step forward. It's a cable. One fifty-nine. Let's go. I just took him up five more. Man, why are you here? What was it? Fuck. See that? Immediately, I put him in the right position. He couldn't do anymore. Okay. So I'm gonna have him do a couple quarter reps. Drop him down. One. One more. Two. Two. Okay. Take it back down five pounds. I'm glad you saw that. I hope you got that on film. 
elbow's stuck in. The more tired you get, they start to shoot back out. I'm not going to take too much of his rest, but we give him some. Down, up, down, up, down, up. The second they come out here, or out here, or anywhere other than here, change your weight or find some heart. Let's go. His heart rate right now is 168, okay? He still has to do 10 hanging leg ups. This time his legs are gonna be perfectly straight. His thighs are gonna be locked out. Locked out all the way through his toes. He won't be able to get him up as high, but he'll definitely be training his obliques below 90 degrees and his abs above it. Watch this. This is supposed to be hard. Show me straight legs. I don't care what's going on. That's bent leg. Yeah. Four. Up. Five. Straight legs. Straight up. Drop them. Up. No swing. Five. Yes. Good. Don't care how you Four. Yes. Right there. Three. Two. Grabs. One. All right. All right, averaging 171 now, 172, 173. That is incredible. Have a seat, buddy. It's two sets of arms, two sets of abs. We're trying to knock out triceps and abs in about 10 to 15 minutes, taking this workout to be exactly an hour and 15 minutes, which is pretty good for three muscle groups. It's a cardio slash fat burning slash muscle building workout. Let's just say he burned a thousand calories and 60% of that came from, uh, let's say he burned a thousand calories, okay? 60% of that has got to come from sugar. Now, four calories makes one carb. So four into 600 is 150. So 150 carbs is what he would have had to have to fuel this workout. Right now he took 100, so hopefully we end up around 800 calories burned, and it's the perfect number. That's basically how you do your math when you're going low carb throughout the day and only sugaring up before and after your workout, or around your workout. You want those numbers to be the same. This is math, friends. Now, also acknowledging, don't add what I just said into some random diet. It doesn't work that way. It has to be very, very structured. So you can't just say, oh, well, Kimberly said, if I burned 1,000 calories, I gotta have uh, uh, 150 grams of sugar in me. No, 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 no. Does not work that way. I'm using an example of this gentleman who's 140 pounds, how many calories he would burn, how much of that would come from sugar, acknowledging his heart rate. This is his plan. We're gonna fit up, finish up with some overhead triceps. This is also gonna be surfing the rack. 
Get your heart rate. Starting off at 129. Face the mirror. Take a step to the left. Up and over your head. Switch your hands up. All in. Nope. Perfect. Let me see it. Face it to the desk, please. This is a great opportunity for an educational. Now, he has not done overhead triceps before, so he grabbed it like this. What I like to do is put it on my chest, grab my hands, and slide them under. Both thumbs are behind, so it can't really fall off. Then I lift it up, go down and up. Heart rate is? 129. Money. Beautiful. One, two. Try to keep your elbows in. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. More. Ten. Yep. Stay there. All right, 150. Yeah. One, two, five, three. Who wants arms? Mr. Armour trains arms every day. Four, five. Five, show me what you got. You earned this dessert right now. Six, earned the ability to train your arms. Seven, let's do it. Eight, I got you. Nine, one more. One ten, good job. One more. It's the most break. We started off at 20, I took him up to 25, now we're taking him back down to 20. His heart rate right now is 169. That is incredible he can move at this level. That is just insane. That's pure heart and soul. Go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Come on. Six. Beautiful. Seven. Five. Eight. Come on. Nine. Ten. Gotcha. Okay. Open chairs. Superset. Uh, we're sticking with the superset. Face us. Hands behind you. Grab the bench. Roman chairs. Keep your legs out. Go sit on the bench. Okay. Hold yourself there. Lift your legs up. Yeah. Bring your knees to your chest at the same time. Back back down. One. Two. Go. Three. Take your heels and touch them almost to the ground. Four. Go. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Ten. Twenty-five. Fifteen. Last hand, upper body, stay stationary. Twenty. Bills down. Bills down. Yes. Two. Three. Come on. Four. I'm so impressed. Twenty-five. Heart rate 168. Shirt wet. Triceps, abs, chest annihilated. 140 pounds. 140 pounds. DJ just murdered it more than half the beef eaters I know across the street, and three quarters of the guys that step in this gym. Very proud of him today. But we're not done. <laughs> this is extra credit. Now he said he wanted abs. Couple versions of Roman chairs. This is one of my favorites. Now we're going to give away the tips. Slide your feet underneath there. Now, see the position he's in with his hands and everything? He's going to lift his butt up. He's going to come forward and slide back into the starting position. I literally want him to. Everybody has butt skin. 
but some of us have butt fat, I have both. So what happens is, is you end up sliding on your butt fat, taking away from that transition, that sticking point. So every, next time you do this, next time you're doing sit-ups, next time you're doing anything, watch how you slide on your butt skin. I don't know I have another word for that, I'm sorry. So what I'm gonna have him do is prop his butt up, come forward, now sit down, and then push that way. Now, his butt cannot slide on his own skin, so that sticking point has now been negated. Now he does his sit-ups, which guarantees that you engage your abs the entire time. It's a lot like doing a bicep curl like this. What in the heck happened from here to here besides gravity and uh, contraction? Nothing. That's what we're avoiding with abs. Same theory. 25. Hands on chest. Yep. Go ahead and down. One. Now, I'm going to change his hand position. I like doing it two ways. Hands on chest and hands right here. Go. Grab it just like that. Yep. Now, the reason why I want him to grab right here is because we have the tendency of pushing our abs out. I want him to suck his abs in, but yet he's in so much pain. How the heck is he supposed to remember all this? His fingers, that sense of touch. As soon as he feels his fingers expand, he knows to suck back in. He wants that to feel tight. As soon as you can feel that little ridge line right here, we all have it. Sometimes you gotta press a little harder to find it depending on how much skin you have covering it. But either way around, it's there. So you're holding on to it right here, both hands, sucking in your belly, otherwise you might as well not even be doing these, and going down into the rep and then coming back up. This is your accountability to make sure you're flexing your abs. Guarantee half of you are not flexing your abs during your workout. Do that, it becomes twice as hard. Go. Full motion, come back, all the way Keep your chin to chest, now come down. Yes! Suck in that belly. He's not sliding right here. Okay, that's beautiful. This is all ass. All the way down. There we go. Now his last 10, I'm not going to let him come all the way up. I like it that he's come on all the way up like that because it crunches down and forces his body, his abs to contract. Now watch this. Up, one, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, four, up, three, up, two, up, one, up, zero. Good job. He even got himself some extra credit. Let's ask him what his heart rate is. One. 59. We'll tell the world how you feel, buddy. <laughs> feel pretty good. Pretty tired. Pretty good. Feel pretty good? Yeah. You happy with what you did here today? Absolutely. You feel that you tried hard? Did you push inside yourself? Like you've been on a separate? Now, I'll be honest. Will just paid me to do this, and I asked him to feel me. So I have two senses of accountability here. More to him than this video. I can shoot a hundred of these. Did you get a good workout? I did. Did I push you? Did you push harder with this accountability number, with this equation, than you would have on your own? Okay. We just gave Will some numbers, we gave him some accountability, and we pushed him a little bit. But in the end, I can't take credit for that sweat. That shirt, I swear I could bring it out. I, it's, it's black, so you can't really tell. But that is kind of gross. It's, it's actually all the way soaking through. And, um, and as, as a trainer, my sense of accountability is heart rate monitor, whether he had a good time, and his shirt. And right now I have all three, so I'm impressed with myself too. Thank you, buddy. Now, oh, wait, wait, wait. Did we learn anything today? What did we learn? Correct technique. Talk to the camera. We learned uh, to always have the right form. Okay. Otherwise, it's not worth it. Which exercise specifically did you learn on today? The chest press. Which one did we learn? I don't even know what I taught you because I don't. I didn't know what you knew. So. Well, uh, I, mean, I like the um, the flies. How we got your elbows to flare out a little bit, and at first your elbows were straight, uh -huh. uh, and your arms were straight, so you weren't necessarily, there's no barrel here, right? So as you're coming down, there's a lot of leverage here, here, and here, but it goes away, unless you're like this. Then your chest has to still engage. So for me, that's really gonna build your upper chest, if you remember that. 
<laughs> Alright, we're going to thank Will again. Any parting words for anybody that's wanted to do what you do, wanted to body transfer in, they can't seem to get their heart rate to, to be coming down five minutes after the last set at 127. I mean, how do, how do you tell that kid to, to try hard, man? What's your words of inspiration? I just got to rage hard. <laughs> rage hard! Coming from a DJ, I love it! It's fucking rage. This is a family show, but I'm going to let that one slide because in the end, in this place, there is no profanity. There's heart, soul, blood, sweat, and tears.